So for this first final piece as part of my series, um, I decided to kind of break down my photo shoots because obviously I did do my photo shoot all in one day, but I felt that there'd be too many contact sheets in my book all in one go. And I thought it'd be nice to kind of break down each section and kind of go through it a bit more in a simplified way as such, rather than just kind of putting it all in one go. Um, so I've kind of written down, I just named this one amongst the trees. So these were the shots that I had, which kind of focused like with the, um, you know, the bit of more depth in the background. So it was um, the model in the middle, but then you've got like the woods and the darkness in the background, which is kind of resembling the idea of the contrasting colors, which I said I really liked. Um, I, I think I got quite a good like range of shots. The other thing I did find was that the photos were a bit grainy. Um, which I think next time is something which I could maybe take into more consideration as the weather was not great. Um, but at the same time, I do think it worked well with the kind of theme I was going with. Um, and I also figured out if I got a Lightroom, I can also change, get rid of the grain completely. So it didn't really affect much of the process. Um, but yeah, these turned out really nicely. Um, and yeah, I thought they were quite nice. Um, I just did a kind of brief valuation of my photo shoot. I mentioned how I took lots of photos, which was really useful for, you know, any experiments I wanted to do. And it just gave me a range of photos. So if I needed to merge things together, I could do because I had maybe multiple of the same kind of shot. Um, but I really like these photos, like, like I mentioned before. And I said here, just the contrasting colour, I think it looked really nice with the white dress just kind of popped against that black, you know, kind of dark background, which really like shows the element of surrealism. These were my favourite three images um, out of the whole photo shoot, actually. Um, especially this one, which is the one I ended up using. But I just think they're really well, like, the composition of the photos are perfectly, um, you know, framed. And I love how she's always looking, like, upwards and outwards. And that kind of, to me, like, creates that idea of, like, surrealism and how far it goes. And it's completely off the screen and, you know, it's something that isn't really, you know, you have to look for it. I know it sounds really kind of far-fetched but that's the kind of the impression that I got from it so I definitely wanted to pick those ones because I loved the way that she was looking um out of the frame um I just kind of did a little design idea um how I wanted my um drawings to go on that's what most of these design ideas are they're just kind of um mini design ideas with some little drawings on just to see where I might put them and I think the positioning of them actually was kind of similar um but yeah, I think that was really helpful for me. I always obviously broke it down with my model illustrations colour palette so I could just simplify it a little bit easier for myself. Um, the development process for this one um, didn't take too long. I kind of wanted to just keep it as, you know, I wanted to keep the photos as raw as possible because I didn't want to have too much editing on them because I wanted to focus on the look and the style more and the photo shoot and what I could create in that as such to, you know doing all the kind of work in Photoshop, um, which is why I haven't got loads of kind of screenshots. Um, I started off my image, I went on Lightroom, I got rid of the grain, because obviously that was really annoying, uh, but I managed to get rid of the grain, which is perfect. Um, this is from another development I did, but I was kind of looking at where I placed the light on this one and how um, I could kind of put that um, on this image. Um, and yeah, I was also copy and pasting the butterflies across because it helped me save time. Um, and yeah, it kept the colours the same and kept it kind of consistent across all the photos. Um, and then I worked on placing them around, um, changing the size. Also blurring ones that were closer towards the camera because I obviously took the photos in quite a um, low aperture. So it meant that it added a nice blur. So I thought to kind of help them and, you know, make them part of the photo, blurring them would kind of, you know, create that effect. Um, and then my final piece overall, I really love this photo. I decided to have the light up here because it also then kind of linked her to looking that way. Otherwise, if I didn't, I felt like she would just kind of be looking and there wasn't really anything to see. So I thought putting the light up there, it has kind of like an element of mystery as well. that like You don't know what the light is or where it's coming from. And I think that's what I wanted people to read from my photo. Um, again, I also don't think I mentioned this, but... I had my butterflies and I felt they looked a bit 2D on the image. So I decided to kind of like copy my butterfly and turn it into black and white. And it created like a shadow. So when it was sat on my model, 
it looked like it was part and it was actually there, which I think worked really nicely and I think um, helped create the effect I wanted to. Um, again, with the blurring, I blurred this bottom butterfly out to kind of, you know, fit it in with the image. Um, I also kind of colour picked some colours from the flowers and the dress for the butterflies because obviously the colour palette I previously had, like, I don't think some of the colours really worked with what I'd taken. So I decided to kind of use some of those colours, but also colour pick from the dress, which you can see kind of with the green um, and the red as well. But overall, I'm really happy with how this photo turned out. And I think it really started um, a good, you know, it was a good start to my series.